Welcome. My next guest is Jay Adami. Is that right, Jay? That's correct. Um, profession? Uh, human resources background, mm -hmm. but now a professional gardener. So, we're going to talk about women's pensions. Now, I'm gathered you're quite exercised, as they say, on this issue. What's your main problem with uh, what's happening at the moment? Okay, well, there's been changes in pension equalisation, state pension equalisation, uh, over the past uh, 15 years. So, originally, uh, women were due to retire at age 60. Mm. Um, with the 1995 Pension Act, which came into force actually eventually in 2005, it meant that women were retiring at 65 on a sliding scale. And yep. now they've changed it again, which means women of a certain age, which is anybody who's aged 58 um, or younger, will not now retire until they're 66. Now I'm aware of the, the first change you mentioned, which was where women were retiring at 60, um, and men were retiring at 65. Now yep. the first thing that I was aware of ha happening there was it was um, a European directive. I think it was um, human, um, human, human rights. Basically men were, as we know, dying younger than women and retiring five years later. So there was an equalisation had to come in for that. But it's not, that's not the issue that's upsetting. It's the transitional arrangements to achieve the equalisation. I think most women will accept at some point in the future that both men and women are living longer and therefore there should be some kind of equalisation as there has been with many other issues in life. But the transitional arrangements uh, are quite dis discriminatory against women in terms of the number of additional years that women are now having to work uh, before the state retirement age and the speed with which that is happening so that um, it's now going to affect women who are within less than 10 years of retirement. So if you take somebody who's currently 58 at the moment, under the previous arrangements, a typical example on a sliding scale would mean that that person would have retired at 62 years and 11 months under the sliding scale situation. Because of the new law that came in last October, that same person will now have to uh, work until they're 65 and four months. So that's an additional, actually, two years and five months. Two years and five months, and that's all because of legislation passed just... In October 2011. Five months ago. Yeah. And so the speed of it is totally unacceptable and has taken so many women by surprise. Uh, there's very little publicity about it. So many women are still thinking, until they get their letter from the pension service, that they, they can retire at 62 or 63. There's a quote here from Saga. By suddenly making them wait longer, many will face a shortfall of more than £10,000 each, and most yeah. will not have time to make good their financial losses. Well, that's based on um, basic state pension, if you're talking around about £107 a week. Basically, they're removing over two years' worth of state pension. And then that would include any other benefits that you would get by being of state pension age. And we're talking here about your uh, supporting a petition, is that right? Is there a petition on, uh, around? Well, certainly the one I've come across is Saga, which does a lot for people over the age of 50 anyway. But they are putting together a national uh, petition, which is really trying to get as many women as possible um, to join this petition, which they are then going to present to government. Not just women, surely. There's plenty of men. Well, I hope the men do too. The men. Is there any reason why we shouldn't? Not support at all. Them? Not at all. I mean, most of the examples on the saga site are from women, but men are going to be affected as well because you guys are going to have your state pension age increase from 65 to 66, and then eventually it will be 67. Well, well, well by that time, will we all have 67 as eventually our retirement? Eventually, it will be 67. But these arrangements are putting in the age 66 so that everybody by uh, 2020 will retire and have state pension age at 66. So we don't have a link yet for a pension, an online pension today, no? A link for? An online link so that people can click on it and go and sign a petition. Well, if you go to saga.co.uk, saga. mm -hmm. um, and I think actually is the link not there somewhere? 
can't find it. This is just a printout. Okay. Uh, well, if you go on to saga.co.uk, uh, the petition comes up on the home page. On the home page. Well, thank you very much. And the other thing just to say is that Saga and many others are also encouraging everybody to actually try and speak to your MP about this to see whether there's any way at all that we can continue to influence these rather hasty arrangements. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.